Game three, about to start. When everyone's ready. Alright. Right. Starting the game. So this will be game three of Validus Gamers versus Good Game Kids. Choi versus I am Zeus, and Choi is looking to all kill Validus Gamers. Showing some excellent TVT, so we are sending another Terran against him because that's all our plan is made of, apparently. Don't know why. And I will try not to eat pizza during this round, even though it is so tempting. At least we don't have to have that scoreboard where we have to have the right colors, because that'd be annoying. So! Oopsie. Yes, there we go. In the bottom corner, bottom left corner, we have Validus Gamer's I Am Zeus. And I will be calling him Zeus because I don't want to say I am, because I am lazy. Lazy American. We have the pink Zeus. Ooh, fashionable. And in the right, top right corner, we have GGK's Choi, who has done really well against other Terrans, and we send another Terran against him, because that is logical. And the score is 2-0 for GGK, and Choi is looking to all kill Bellatus Gamers. So, same, same build order, I would presume so, but the difference is Zeus is walling off and Choi is not, which seems like the better idea. Seems just more Income efficient, less travel time, build faster. And Troy will start his barracks first, and Zeus will start his barracks second. Same build order so far. There's nothing much to say. I do like the new emblems, especially Terran, because it's just a big star with a heavy face. How can you not like that? This, nope, no different. So we do have gas a lot earlier for Zeus compared to Choi's. Is Choi there's that gas? So Troy went for 15 gas and Zeus went for 14 gas. Scouts going right past each other. Zeus sent out his scout a little earlier, but not critically earlier. He's just gonna scout around, see that barracks finishing up. He's gonna see this wall. He's gonna get trapped in the wall and. Orbital coming up for Choi. Orbital. One's at 150. <sighs> nope. Now there's that Orbital. Is he gonna. Alright, he got that Reaper first. So we're gonna go maybe a Reaper expand. Fact. Ooh, another barracks coming down for Choi. So two barracks. Let's fly to boat. That SCV is not gonna survive out of here. He's just gonna triangle his way to death and Choi will be he's consistently making it marines he might go for a two racks expo while Zeus might go for a reaper expand he is getting a reactor for those extra marines which is good so he could keep up not keep up but maybe get back into the marine production because Troy will be ahead in marine production and he is floating some minerals. Is he going to throw down a factory or is he going to throw down some... Uh, it looks like he's command center, but not on the low ground. Which seems pretty smart speaking that it is kind of a long way from the natch or from the main to the natural. And we have an expo for Zeus. So this is going to be a Reaper expo with no scouting Reaper. Factory. Faster factory for Zeus. To... A reactor barracks. I think that Zeus can probably scout with this Reaper, see what's going on, see that there is quite a handful of Marines and that there is a command center coming up because he is consistently making Marines and the factory is going to go down for Choi. Tech Lab going down. Another barracks. Is he going to throw down a starport? I'm gonna guess a star port. Oh, no, just a fate. Maybe he was thinking about it and decided that he didn't need it so far. Is he gonna lift this up? 
Nope, he's gonna change that first and then lift off. Is he gonna do anything with his tech lock? No. Consistent rain crush uh, production. And Choi is gonna do some early damage, but they're gonna have the same amount of Marines and Zeus has a Reaper. He's not gonna see this, but he will not be able to like, not fight it. But he will be able to defend it if he not micros correctly. No, that's uh, poor choice. He's not gonna, he does have defender advantage, but he should be fine. The Marines are the same, just look differently. He's gonna lift off and Choi's gonna back out. He's just doing some red pressure. Maybe to uh, secure his turn. No starport out for uh, Zeus yet. I think he's gonna start one right now. Yep, starport. No, oh, another barracks actually. Uh, he's not starting one one yet, which he should. You really have to sharpen your pencil now. Oh god. <sighs> okay. Hold up. Sorry, there is some distractions. Comes a little girl who's trying to sharpen her freaking pencil. Is your pencil sharpened yet? I am making the biggest sigh face ever. Okay, can you close the door when you get out, please? Thank you. Okay. No starport out for Zeus yet. But he does have earlier siege tank production. A lot of marines for Choi. A raven coming out for Choi. Widowmine. Ooh. Reaper's gonna see that Widowmine. Is he gonna see this? Is he gonna see? He doesn't see the Raven. He does see the tech lab though. He's not. He's gonna scout the Widowmine. Not doing anything. Not there. Nope. Maybe these are. He, maybe he thought it was Cloak Banshees. He should have seen the Raven come out. Alright, Starport just going down for. Uh, just going down for Zeus, so he's going to be behind in mana back production, which might be bad in case if he wants to go for a drop or something. But it's going to be not the same time, but not going to be that far behind compared to Choi's because he's got a Raven first, which is pretty good against Cloak Banshees. We have 20 Marines for for Zeus, and we have. Uh, 17 for Choi and a siege tank so uh, more like 19 ooh nice wood of mine for banshees or for a drop uh, it's pretty smart because that is the common avenue for it and Zeus is going to be able to hold this off easily I mean, he's, he, he might even see it yeah he's going to see it right there he's going to be able to easily defend this there's nothing that, like, ooh, he's even gonna move out. He's gonna try to catch him off guard. He should. Snipes off the Raven. Get this Marine, get this Marine out, get this Marine out, get this Marine out. Oh, that's a lot of damage, but he should be fine. No, there was no siege in that fight, nothing. So, that was easy. What he could do is probably counterattack right now. He has the bigger army. He doesn't have enough production, though. Ooh, he's getting his third now. Ooh, he got his third a lot earlier and after that battle he can secure his third much easier than what Choi can do he hasn't even started a third base yet one armor almost done for Zeus one attacks already done one armor so opposite for Choi and Zeus but Choi is a little behind on his one attack Stim's uh, just about to complete we have a drop coming in, and that's gonna come. That's gonna happen right when Stim happens. But we have a little supply depot that's gonna scout this, so we should be able to just evacuate these SCVs. Yep, evacuate these SCVs. Get his army. He has he has Stim already done, so he should be able to send the army off. Will he be able to pick it off before one? Oh, that's gonna be a big. That's a big pick off. It's gonna be done. It's gonna be done. Oh, the mass repair! Is it gonna be fast enough? The mass repair! It was so close. That would have been a critical pickoff if he got that upgrade. Now, Zeus is gonna be uh, slightly ahead. 
the armor he's just about to complete. He has two factories. He's going to be ahead of, in upgrades, just slightly, but he's going to be ahead in upgrades. Does Choi have an armory? Anywhere? No, he's just playing that down. Choi is going to be behind in upgrades. Zeus is going to be ahead of upgrades if he starts at 2-2 now. That was a very, very, very good save. Two... Two ground attack is going to start. Two upgrade, uh, ground armor is probably going to start very soon. And Choi is slightly not behind, but has less of a... Or he's, he's making two more barracks right now. But he should start that armor right up. Yep. He selected it. He's waiting for the amount of minerals and... Armor. There we go. Yep. And he's going to move out. He's going to move out. He's going to have more siege tanks. A lot more marines. This is looking really good for Zeus. And he's going to see that there is no third at all. And he just secured his third. So he can just apply pressure. Just camp out in his base. Just stay here. Maybe do a little drop. And just wait until his third is up. Until 2-2's finished. Because 2-2's already started. And uh, Choi hasn't started 2-2. He's, he's making more uh, siege tanks. More factories. More barracks. Which is good. More production. The production for Zeus is a little low, in my opinion, but I don't play Terran, so I don't know. He should, he might, another factory would be good, some idle workers. But he is transferring the third, and he's making a sense of tower. Oh, Doom Drop! Big Doom Drop! This might be it! This is camping the production facility. Zeus doesn't have any units to protect this. He has some siege tanks on the bottom. He has two drops that are going to his main to uh, Zeus's main, but that might be his last hope, and I don't think, I think Zeus can easily defend this. He's having some army in here, he might just, he needs some siege tanks, he needs some, something to defend this. He has two turrets, so as this drop goes by, this doom drop in the main, for camping all the production facilities, this drop is going, okay, this drop has no way out though, so he just needs to pull back his, yep, pull back, camp the production facilities, send some marines, he's not going to have enough. He, well, with all these, he should have enough. 2-2's two, two's just, or 2, yeah, he's gonna be fine. Zeus looks really good. There is, I don't think this is, there's any way for, um, Troy to come back. Because there's just way too many units. Yep, this is not gonna be able. It's 45 to 127. Troy has a lot of minerals, but he can, that's GG. Zeus wins. That was a really good game. I think a big critical part is when that one armor got saved because that might have not uh, pr prompt Zeus to go out and uh, attack but that was really that was a really good game